<laughs> yeah, the fun doesn't stop. If you're familiar with this contraption sold by the good old hazard fart this is a pain in the neck and when you are dealing with a power cable and another cable and then a swinging bucket and you're chasing that yellow remote you hate your life <laughs> so we me I had said enough of this I need to be able to control this guy up and down without too much headache now there is nothing inside of here this is there once upon a time there was a contactor in here and they taken I guess and moved it up inside of the inside of the box so so what what you have here is a double pull double throw switch and uh, we're gonna put this guy on a remote uh, about the cheapest way possible so when you go down, it goes down, and when you're ready, it goes up. So that's it. That's the plan for today, because when I'm down in a hole, <laughs> and uh, that's about uh, four and a half feet at the moment, and I have, uh, I got another four feet to go. And that means a lot of trips with a lot of buckets uh, rolling up and down on this thing. So let's see how to do it. I'll make this quick. Okay, let's see how we're going to do this. Um, sold on Amazon. I am not an Amazon affiliate, so there's, don't look for a link. <laughs> I'll put a, something in the description at least to get you to it. Uh, I find Amazon links tend to die pretty quick. And if you ever notice, you know, you go to somebody's YouTube page and they have an Amazon link there. And of course, well, <laughs> it doesn't work. So I bought this thing as of uh, November of 2022. God, can you believe this year is almost gone? This thing, I guess now is about $20, $21. I think they used to be about $17. And uh, this is what you get. You get a couple of these fancy remotes. And hey, when was the last time you saw one of those? If you've never seen one of those, then that means you are probably under the age of 30. <laughs> so you get uh, two remotes and uh, an antenna, and you get this little box. So what are we gonna do with this box? Uh, let's get inside of it. I wanna take a peek at it. And this is 110 volt. I think it'll go to two. I think it'll work for you uh, European continental types. Uh, let me get the rest of this last screw out of here. And uh, we're going to look inside of this. Before you go and do this, I would suggest you open this up. And uh, let's see how you get it out of here. Oh, take the bottom off. Uh, there we go. All right, so here's the board. You have, uh, there's all these little terminals over here. Don't use these. These are all these little guys. They won't help you. Uh, you stay on this side. You have a neutral, a line, uh, you'll have forward, a common, and a reverse. Uh, what's important while you're in here is you need to look at this little jumper here. You have L, S, and T, and I set the thing on L and S, and with that, you're done. So let's go ahead and get this guy back together. Okay, now that we're back together, we need to get power to this thing. So just get yourself a cheap old school lamp cord of some kind. That's fine, nothing fancy. And you're gonna connect one on the line and one on the neutral. Now, this is where it gets fun. Get you a pair of these. These are, well, that's a really terrible job there, Jay. Look at the wires hanging out. <laughs> uh, these are a pair of 120 volt 
uh, coil-sided contactors. These are double pull, double throw. And what that means is any any contactor, you'll find this on your air conditioner at your house. If your AC is not turning on, these are these are actually really easy. You just test for power going across these terminals. You'll have AC power. And uh, so it doesn't matter how, what you stick it at here and here. And uh, that's what will open and close the coil in this thing and connecting from one side to the other side. So nothing really cosmic here. As you can see, I have a common wire, which is this side here, and it's connecting these two. And then I have individuals on the other side. One will be up and one will be down. Uh, no rocket science there. So these are AC powered coils. Your home AC unit, your HVAC unit at your house, so don't go steal it off that one because it probably won't work. Most of those are 24 volt systems. Uh, so these are pretty cheap. Uh, 11, 12 bucks a piece is uh, typically what we see them go for. And you're going to need a pair of these. And this will be the double pull, double throw. So essentially what you're looking at here is a giant switch uh, that's on that yellow box because I'm going to cut that yellow box off and we're going to wire those guys onto here and you'll see that this will work fantastic. Take your box and one of these is the common. Here's your common and it even says on your little box right here you got common. So I'll connect him over to here. And you can, it doesn't matter whichever one you want to use here. One will be up, one will be down, or we'll call it forward and reverse on your electric motor. So we'll stick one on one side. And we'll place one on the other, like so. Everybody having fun so far? Keep in mind, all of this stuff is AC power, 120 volts. So uh, if you start licking or touching stuff, you get shocked. So put all this junk in a box. I'm just going to screw it to a piece of wood and strap it, zippy tie it to my hoist. I don't really care. Now let's see it actually work. Okay, to test this and make sure that everything's going like it's supposed to, just plug in your cord. I, I, you you got to beep, I don't know why. And then, you pull out your trusty remote, and you can go up. You can hear one of the coils. Stop, down, and stop. So it looks like it works. Now, Looking inside of our Harbor Freight, this big plastic piece of junk here, you'll see something that should look vaguely familiar. These two are the center two. These two will go over here. These two will go over there. Now, if you don't want to gut this thing or snip all this stuff off, that's fine. Make yourself some little terminals or something. You can hang it on there. Uh, let's do, try that and uh, see how it works. Here's a great tip for you. Whenever you're doing any kind of wiring, get out your camera, take a picture. Because no matter how bad you screw it up, you can always get back to your photo <laughs> and then undo what you dorked up. So take a photo. Then you can feel free to rip all these guys right off of here. And I got shocked. So that capacitor inside of <laughs> the winch just bit me. So 
<laughs> Ground that thing out first. <laughs> so looking at my photo over here, it looks like I've got a red and a blue. I need to get on that end. So we're gonna pick a red and we're gonna pick a blue. So we need to get the, there's the red and the blue, the black and the brown, and now we just have to get the other two way over there. So I only need two jumpers. So. Okay, so we got some jumpers made. Uh, one on one side. Here's where we got to look at the photo. The photo said that uh, the red and the white should be on this corner over here. So red and white is here. Plug you in. And the other side was uh, all reds. So over to you. And that should be it. You can put all this crap in a box, put it in a Walmart bag, Zippy tie it to the hoist. I don't care. Uh, make it neat later. The idea is let's make it work. So I can get back to digging. You're going to need power for that. Now, oh, there goes my screws. And you're also going to need power for the hoist side of things. Okay, the moment of truth. All right. Activating. The aerial <laughs> and down and stop. Down. Stop. Up. Stop. Up. And stop. Oh, wonderful. This little guy right here is actually the switch. When this thing goes up, it'll automatically stop it, but you still gotta push that way. You can Engage the up. The this mess over here will turn on that contactor. But let's see what happens if you try to go down from that. Uh -huh, up. Keep pressing up and keep going. The stop button actually works. <laughs> With that, I'm gonna say. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you guys again soon.